Hi there, Pisces, and thanks so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. March 3 through 9, happy birthday to all those Pisceans celebrating their special day this week. Now, this week, we have some really good news in that Jupiter, the largest planet in the zodiac and the planet of opportunity, and you know, good luck and finding, winning lottery tickets on the street, well, you can only hope, got moves direct in Cancer, your fifth house of romance, creativity, and self-fulfillment. For those of you who have started a new relationship, this is wonderful. For those of you who are in a relationship, a long-term one, and it's not so wonderful, it's a chance for you to find the romance again. And being a Pisces, you're a very romantic person anyway. You just had the new moon in your sign last week. You can be romantic enough for two. And this is probably going to fall under your job description in finding ways for you and your partner to be romantic with each other, even if it's a simple thing as holding hands or you know, going on date night or writing little sticky notes around the place for each other to find or sending him a card you know, to his office or you buying her a bunch of you know, flowers on the way home. When you've been with someone for a very long time, that's the main thing you hear. There's no romance anymore. Valentine's Day comes along, everyone does what they feel they should do, and then it's back to, you know, dirty socks on the coffee table and leaving the bathroom door open and, you know, no romance. So work on that because you're being given a gift in the form of Jupiter moving direct. It's going to be a wonderful thing for you. On the flip side, Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, goes out of phase in Scorpio. Your long-distance travel zone, higher education and spirituality zone. If you've been thinking about studying online or going back to school, or if you are doing it, you're going to slack off a little bit. You're not going to feel as interested or compelled to do it, especially those studying online. It's not easy because there's so many distractions. As in you talk to your friends on the phone, you have the TV on, the kids might be screaming in the background. So knowing that Saturn is out of phase through July, mid-July, make, makes it even more important that you turn off everything. Turn off the internet when you're on the computer and just focus on what you're there for. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it and I'll speak to you again next week, Pisces.